Isolating factors in plain English. Have you ever thought where we all came from? Beyond the process of fertilization, there are other factors which contributed to diversity. One is called speciation, which is the formation of new species. New species that make all diversity true. Like as we pass from a sperm to a fish, dinosaur, monkey, and a woman. But how does this really happen? It happens through processes of reproductive isolation, which is when new species evolve and its population become reproductively isolated from each other. Like these two little guys, the Cahoos and the Gahoos. Even if these two guys attract each other, they will never be able to mate. Mrs. Gahoo sings a type of La 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 song when she wants to mate. Well, Mr. Cahoo sings a different song. Oh, oh. These ones are not compatible. How can you match these two songs? It's not possible. If these two species mate by singing and attract each other this way, there will never be really interaction. They try, they're singing, oh, la 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 la, but it doesn't work. Ah! Isolating mechanism works in three simple processes. Behavioral, geographic, and temporal. We're first going to see geographic. It's really simple. Geographical isolation is when populations are separated by geographic barriers, such as mountains, rivers, and other bodies of water. It will be explained with a simple and cute story. Maybe not so cute. Once upon a time, four green cahoots lived in a tribe called Pookie Gookie Cookie. Two of them were hungry and went hunting after rabbits for the entire tribe. Suddenly, it started raining, and the only escape was going into a cave. It drained and drained and rained. When it finally stopped raining, one kahoo went out running so fast, he didn't realize there was a river in front of him. He fell, and he died. The poor Cahoos couldn't go back because they couldn't swim. They were left on the other side with nothing else to do with their lives. There they become geographical isolated. Some 10,000 years later, both groups suffered mutations. One of the groups developed into an orange skin color and the other one into a yellow one. Natural selection works separately on each group and led to the formation of distinct subspecies. When the river dried out, they were able to cross the river once again and they found their evolved tribe of Pookie Gookie Cookie. The yellow cahoots started to flirt with the orange cahoots, singing melodies because they wanted to have sex and reproduce. However, they didn't understand each other's songs, so they were not capable of mating. This resulted in behavioral isolation. Behavioral isolation is when two populations are capable of interbreeding but have difference in courtships, rituals, or other reproductive strategies. They involve behavior. The new subspecies of cahoots develop different strategies to mate, which is each other, and they didn't understand themselves, so couldn't reproduce. This became the sad story of the cahoots.
Now, let's go to the story of the Gahus. The Gahus suffered the problem of temporal isolation, which is reproductive isolation at its maximum. Temporal isolation is when two or more species reproduce at different times, so they can't mate with each other. They are infertile at the same time. One example is that the red kahoo can only mate during winter, and the blue kahoo can only mate during summer. What happens is that when one is fertile and the other can't reproduce, so it's impossible for them to have offsprings. This is really sad, because they may have the same mating essentials and they may be totally able to interbreed. But times are not good for them. All this is what leads to new species, what today we call diversity. For some, it may be a really bad process, a really sad one actually. But for some, it is really cool. Imagine everybody the same. It is good or bad. You just This was Isolating Mechanism in Plain English. Produced by Paula Lozano, Luis Guillermo Huitrago, Rodrigo Coriat, Maria Antonia Bravo, and Juanita Giraldo. Next time, the true Hollywood story of the Yahoos. See you later.